In this video, I'm going to explain all about mapped in workspaces. So we can access them by clicking on this drop down here in the dashboard. And a workspace is essentially a folder that organizes a unique set of maps, users, and payment information. So it's a great way of organizing projects within your account. You can see here all the workspaces that I'm a part of or the ones that I own. And at a glance, you can see what types of maps it has, how many users it has, and what my role is in the workspace. If I'd like to create a new one, I can just click Create Workspace here. And I'm going to name it Sam's Workspace 3. I could choose to cancel with this button here or to save. So once I've created the new workspace, it directs me there. And you can see this one is empty. And there's no team members. Um, if I would like to delete this workspace, I can come down to the Options menu here and press Delete. I can also edit the name. So it's just telling me that everything inside of the workspace is going to be deleted, like the maps, the users, anything like that. And so we're just going to confirm. And then, for example, if we want to delete a workspace that has existing plus maps, it's going to tell us that it cannot be deleted because the maps are going to be active until the end of the billing cycle. So we don't want to delete maps that you're paying for. And that's all about mapped in workspaces.